You're such an asshole. Continuing on in Rapid City's version of Asshole Consulting. Young man writes, Hey, Cappy Cap, I spend a considerable amount of time indoors, most of the time with family and close friends. I currently go to school for engineering on most weekdays, and the rest of the week I work part-time with one day off. I don't have any issues making friends or anything, but I'm usually more comfortable reading, relaxing, talking, and learning than going out drinking, smoking, etc. So the big question is, am I a shut-in, and if so, should I be worried? Thanks, Kyler. And I say, well, okay, well, do you, do you like staying in? Is that what you want to do? He says, I don't get a ton of, oh, I also asked about exercises. I don't get a ton of exercise in the traditional sense. My, my job does have a fair amount of physicality involved. I'm not fat, nor am I a walking Adonis. I'm doing things I enjoy, however, and like everyone else, and like everyone else, there's room to improve. I would like a video response for the benefit of others as well. And payment has been, okay. Dude, no, like, it, there's, there's what society tells you you should be doing, and then there's what you should be doing. And realize society is stupid. Society, we here in Cappy Cap land, we here at Asshole Consulting, I mean, and again, I'm not saying this to kiss your asses. I'm saying it because it's true, and also that maybe you buy the book, Curse of the High IQ. We are higher than average intelligence, considerably higher, considerably higher. Go test your IQ, figure out, read the book. Um, and that's one thing I wish I learned, and this is one thing I learned from Stefan Molyneux, where I was just listening in and he was talking to some guy I think he had a similar question that, that you had and he's like I don't like going to nightclubs and Stefan Mullen says that's your brain telling you that you don't like going to nightclubs and that's not you you shouldn't be and so there's this whole structure all of society the tribalism the media the TV your friends peer pressure all that other stuff saying you should go to a nightclub and have fun and get drunk and smoke cigarettes and then there's your superior brain frankly that, and I, I'm going to keep slamming on the normies because smart people have suffered enough at the hands of college administrators and high school and uh, K through 12 and all this conformist stuff. You you just don't like it, man. It's like me. I've told the story before. I'll tell it again. It was like the girlfriend says, "Oh, let's go to this hockey game sponsored by work." I'm like, "All right." And I'm just sitting in there. They go there and they hit the puck, and then they go over there and they hit the puck. And then they come back here and hit the puck. And then they went over there and hit the puck. And you know what? No kid was cured of cancer. Society didn't evolve. We didn't make it to Mars. We didn't solve the problem that the sun's going to go supernova and the human species will continue on in outer space as we colonize. We didn't figure out warp. We didn't figure out hyper jump. We didn't figure out nothing. Nothing came of uh, a bunch of these, I think it was in a, a, a senior hockey league, these old washed-up dude bros hitting the puck back and forth. Now I understand there's some sportsmanship and athleticism. But in the grand scheme of things, it was like, put a bullet in my head. This this is not... And, and you know, we're inevitably left because it's, it's stupid. Uh, but uh, it, it's the same thing with you. I guarantee you go test your IQ. It's going to be in the 120, 115 plus, uh, plus range. It's definitely going to be one above 115 because watching sports, watching shitty TV, going to school and learning about the English structure sentences and, and all of this other pablum, this mind-numbing, average, normal, normie person bullshit, it just tortures your mind. And so when you see people going out getting drunk and smoking cigarettes, to what? Yell at each other at a loud bar? That doesn't make any sense. That's not stimulating. And so so I, I, there's nothing wrong with you not wanting. You just, you're more cerebral. You like to read books. You like to listen to podcasts. You like doing your thing. You're getting out. You're not, and you also don't seem depressed. And, and the other thing is that you're not on the other side of the coin. We're like, you know, the amazing atheist, a depressed, pathetic loser living at home. Um, you're not angry. You're not like, oh, you, you don't have this pining like, oh, I wish I could do this. I wish I could. Do, oh, I want to go to this party. You don't have that. You're perfectly content. And that's the other thing. If you're content, then you're, you're perfectly fine and happy. And some people have that personality and there's nothing wrong with it. Like me, I need to go out and actually see people. I need to talk to people every once in a while. I need to interact. Um, some people, I kind of envy them. They could be that stoic monk sitting like Henry David Thoreau, sitting in the fucking pond in the middle of freaking nowhere on top of a Himalayan mountain in a, in a Buddhist temple, 
talking to no one, and they're perfectly happy. I can't do that. It's not my personality. Um, but some people can. I, I had a, another buddy. Unfortunately, he passed away. He was a. He just loved history. He would just read and consume history, and he would he would go out and talk to people, um, but he wouldn't go to parties. He wouldn't go to bars, not because he was socially awkward or anything. He just why would he? There's no intelligence, nothing for him there. And so I, I would surmise, I would surmise, I'd, I'd peg it dead accurately that there's nothing wrong with you and that there's nothing there's nothing for you at parties and boom chicka boom girls. And, oh my God, I just, oh my God, Tina's and this and all of that. And you're like, I just want to fuck you, 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 I just want to fuck you. Oh, I, yeah, oh, yeah, I, I just want to fuck you, I just want to fuck you, I just want to fuck you. I mean, you're avoiding all that pain, by the way. <laughs> you're avoiding all that. You don't have to deal with that. I mean, it, it, you're probably going to come out ahead. I, I really wish I could, I could convey, if I could convey one thing to the younger men, it's like, dude, you want to aim for your 40s, like your, your, your mid to late 30s and early 40s. That's when you want to win the game. That's, you know, kind of like how uh, Mayweather beat, well, everybody but um, McGregor. He just outlasted him. He was in it for the long haul. It's a marathon. So forget what's happening now and today. You, you just go because, man... There's not a guy right now, and the comment section would be below, there's not an older man right now who wish they didn't piss away their time going to bars and nightclubs and boom chicka booms and following girls and just, just you're like, no. You're doing way better just reading your books, having fun, playing video games, D&D, &D, whatever it is you want to do. Um, yeah, so there's nothing wrong with you. You're not a shut-in. Okay, you might, you might not be an extrovert. You may be an introvert, but that's perfectly fine. You're still going out. You got a job. I'd be worried about like, oh, I'm depressed and I'm drinking heavily and I contemplate suicide. Then there'd be issues. But dude, that's just you. And dude, there's nothing, you should be proud of that. Like, hey, yeah, I don't need to participate in the bullshit. I don't need to go to a, to a fucking, what was I watching? Dire Straits. I was at a cigar lounge in Deadwood and they had a Dire Straits thing, uh, a documentary, and they're just playing a concert. And all these people lighting up, this is like the 80s, maybe the early 90s, are lighting their their uh, cigarette lighters. Y you don't have to participate in that mind-numbing, intellectually inferior, lemming bullshit. Y you get to learn shit. You get to advance your own. If anything, you may not advance society. We may not make it off this planet, and the sun may supernova and consume everything here. But uh, at least you will advance your mind, and you will be intellectually stimulated. And your existence on this planet will be much more enjoyable than if you try to become something you're not. All right, questions, answers, money, asshole consulting, America's older brother, not a free service. Tell friends, family, loved ones, enemies, and people you're genuinely indifferent about. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.